Take out the papers and the trash Or you don't get no spending cash yeah. Been baggage fans ever since uh, I can remember football um, My granddad used to police this ground <laughs> years ago uh, so The whole family's Albion fans anyway so it's good They won the cup in 1954, and uh, I can remember watching the game, and uh, we scored with two minutes to go, and I, I took off hard. I went to the toilet outside, I had a bottle of chocolate in my hand, and uh, I missed all the celebration, they couldn't find me. Uh, so when I come out, I got the cup, and everybody was drinking. I'll, I'll, be, um, I'll be 10 then, and I saw all the games apart from the final. Joe Nash and because Cardiff have been a, bit, been a bit of a bogey team for us in the past. I remember a Carling Cup game a few years back. We were 4-1 down by the time and, and, and basically lost that one quite badly. Uh, I think the best game I remember against Cardiff, I think we were 3-1 down and managed to get, get a draw back from a Roger, Roger Johnson own goal apparently right, right near the end. Your father, he knows what comes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well done. I think if you make more, a couple more seasons, I think you'll get us where we want us. I don't think we're going to win the league, but we will be, you know, contenders. But I've just, I've just met somebody from the Albion. He's maybe die. That was Sid Regis. If you just get in the garage on the Junction Seven, like you know, and I said I wish he was playing today, because out of all the Albion centre forwards, he was one of the greats. Siddle Ray, just Ronnie Allen, Jeff Astle, of course, Jeff. He's a new fan, his, first, his very first game today, so we're really excited, aren't you, Matt? Yeah. He's the next generation of Albion supporters. So. And why oh, do you yeah. like Ben Foster? Because I like how he does the goals. How he saves all the goals. Don't talk back. Yaggity yak, yaggity yak.